Hey everybody, this is Damien here representing Proactive Medical. I'm here to show you the Proactive Hydraulic Patient Lift that's convertible to an electronic patient lift. Let's start with the base, work our way up. Base rolls around on four casters, has a couple of locks on the back that allow you to lock the device. The only time you're going to lock it is when you're raising a patient from the floor or if you're on an uneven surface. The base opens and closes with a foot pedal on the back. The unit is completely safe with the base open or closed during the transfer process. The unit we're showing right now is actually a hydraulic system. And you can see that the hydraulic unit is connected to this first set of holes on the boom. The cylinder itself raises and lowers by pumping the handle to bring it up and then turning the knob to lower it. So up and then down. At the end of the boom is our spreader bar. That's where we're going we're to connect our slings that we're going to use for making the transfers. But just to be clear again, the two sets of holes, the first set is for the hydraulic, and the second set is where the electronic upgrade kit would insert if you decide to upgrade the unit. Now let me show you some more about how to connect the slings to the device. All right, folks, now it's time for me to show you how to use the ProTech hydraulic lift with the full body mesh sling. With the full body mesh sling is already on the patient. We're going to open up the base, approach the patient with the lift, we're going to take the shoulder hooks, connect them to the hooks that are closest to the shoulders. We're going to take the leg loops and connect those to the hooks that are closest to the legs. Lower it down just a little bit here. We're going to make sure the valve is closed on the bottom, and then we're going to pump the lift and slowly raise the patient out of the chair. Let's make sure that all those loops are in the proper place in the hooks. And now we've transferred the patient out of the chair with the hydraulic lift. Now it's time for me to show you how to hook up the mesh full body sling with the patient in bed to the proactive hydraulic lift. We're going to bring the lift over the patient. Take our loops, connect the shoulder loops to the first set of hooks, the leg loops to the hooks closest to the legs. Same on the other side. Now we're going to raise the patient up and out of the bed. Make sure those loops are in place. And that's how we raise the patient out of bed with the pro proactive hydraulic lift and the mesh full body sling. Hey everybody, it's Damien here again. Now I want to show you how to convert the ProTech hydraulic lift to an electric lift. For those of you who've watched the other videos, you've seen how time consuming it can be to use the hydraulic system to raise and lower the patient. So let's show you how we're going to convert it to electric. When you order the electric upgrade kit, you're going to get two boxes. One box is going to have the control system, battery, hand control, the other box is going to have the actuator that's going to make the lift go up and down. So I did a little preparation work before this uh, presentation. I already connected a bracket that you're going to have to connect to the lift, just as two big screws that attach the bracket to the back of the lift. And I've also removed the rings from the, the, the uh, hydraulic system so it's easier to remove the cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the spreader bar first. Then I'm going to take the hydraulic cylinder off by pushing the pin out. Set my pins to the side. Grab my other pin here. And remove the hydraulic cylinder. So now let's put the electric cylinder in its place. You notice we're using the front holes. That's where the electric cylinder connects, the front set of holes. So now we got the electric cylinder in place. Now we're going to take the control box. We're going to go ahead and attach it to the back. There's two screws that are going to firmly attach it that you'll need to connect. 
Then we take the battery, connect it to the control box, take the hand control. It's going to plug in in the yellow connector at the bottom. The actuator cable is going to plug into the red connector at the bottom. We're going to insert the breakaway cable into the side here. Then we're going to plug the charger into the breakaway cable to charge up the unit. Check all of our connectors, make sure all of our rings are in place, all the safety connections are put together, and now we've converted it to an electric lift.